So there I was making muffins and bacon for breakfast this morning when I get a notification that states that Trump says he expects an arrest and an indictment over January 6th. And this would be his third arrest. Yes, welcome back. This is now taking another turn. Recently, I came across this. Trump has been notified that he is a target of the grand jury investigations into January 6th, expect to be indicted and arrested. And a lot of Libras are celebrating. Arrest and an indictment over January 6th. And this would be his third arrest. Not for cocaine. That's probably coming though. Not for aliens either, but also probably coming. Anyway, he goes on to state that he was coming home from Florida. They had a big rally there the where he did a straw poll. And when they got home, a deranged Jack Smith, the prosecutor with Joe Biden's uh, Department of Justice, had sent a letter, again, this was on last Sunday, stating that he is the target of the January 6th grand jury investigation and giving me a very short four days to report to the grand jury, which is almost always means arrest and indictment. Screenshot it if you want. Four days from Sunday would put us at July 19th, which would also be the same day that this is happening. It's probably just a huge coincidence. Probably. Now, it's also important to note that all of these indictments haven't really hurt Trump's campaign. He is still leading in all the polls in regards to the GOP pick for 2024, followed not so closely, though, by Ron DeSantis. And the rest of them are being labeled as long shots. So that would be your Asa Hutchinson, your Mike Pence's. It seems like the more that Trump runs into these indictments, the more donations come in for his campaign and the higher in the polls he climbs, which is good marketing. I mean, it's like the epitome of uh, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade or tequila shots, whatever. I'm actually tired of what these people need to stand up. They need to do something. McCarthy standing up to say, I understand that is what is happening. The post went up and immediately this is happening. But the Republican majorities, to me, they are sleeping. I expected that when they will resume, we would not be seeing a lot of things happening. But today, nothing is happening. What is going on? Well, I guess uh, under a Biden administration, Biden America, you'd expect this. If you notice recently, President Trump went up in the polls and was uh, actually surpassing President Biden for re-election. So what do they do now? Weaponize government to go after their number one opponent. It's time and time again. I think the American public is tired of this. They want to have see equal justice. And the idea that they utilize this to go after those who politically disagree with them is wrong. That, that, is that is a truth. But something needs to be done. I have seen a clip from Ron DeSantis. Difference between being brought up on criminal charges and, and doing things. Like, for example, um, I think it was shown how he was in the White House and didn't do anything while, while things were going on. Uh, he should have come out more forcefully. O of course that. You know, blaming Trump for what happened during the January 6th and he's receiving massive backlash after this video. But his team immediately retweeted they say this clip is out of context that that was not what he actually said partaking to the recent news that Trump will be arrested and that's that's a mission readiness that had been the policy prior to biden he's changed it uh, he's included the sex change and all that so we're going to go back to pre-biden um, on the gender ideology uh, for that uh, so look there's a difference between being brought up on criminal charges and, and doing things. Like, for example, um, I think it was shown how he was in the White House and didn't do anything while, while things were going on. Uh, he should have come out more forcefully. O of course that. But to try to criminalize that, that's a, diff that's a different issue entirely. And I think that we, we want to be in a situation where, you know, you don't have one side just constantly trying to put the other side in jail. And, and that, unfortunately, is, is uh, what we're seeing now. So there's, um, again, I have, I just, someone had whispered this to me, so I'm sure I'll have a chance to, to look at this uh, in the future, uh, depending on, on the developments, but, but I don't know kind of, uh, what I was going to do. Okay, well, uh, thank you all. It's great to be here. Um, God bless everyone. And let's get this military back to focusing on mission first. Thank you. I want to know your opinion after watching this video. Is it right for Ron DeSantis to go back, you know, blame Trump?
thumb for what actually happened. I don't get it. We understand his stand before what he stood for because I've seen him coming out to go after the DOG, you know, particular to what has been happening. Now he is under fire after this. They retweeted this long video that that first short video was out of context. I decided to play this so you can see exactly what he said. Now, looking back, the view had to celebrate immediately the real lie that January 6th issue came in. One you know thing what's that bothering me more, I'm sorry, about all of this, you know the, the young person that the, the young man they got for espionage recently? Yes. Yeah. The, he's, do, do you know that he's demanding to be treated exactly the same way as Trump yeah. was? He wants to be, yes, he wants to be able to go home yeah. and do everything. And that's the thing mm -hmm. for me that is most egregious. Nobody goes home. And no when one should be above nobody, the law. Nobody is above the law. You should not be... Yes, let me read this out so you can understand exactly what is going on here. On Sunday night, while I was with my family, having just arrived from the Turning Point event in Florida, where I won the through poll against all other Republican candidates with 85.7%, with all push showing me leading the Republican primary by very substantial numbers, almost everyone predicting that I will be the Republican nominee for president and as I'm leading Democrat Joe Biden in the pools by a lot, horrifying news for our country was given to me by my attorney. Deren Jack Smith, the prosecutor with Joe Biden DOG, sent a letter again it was on Sunday night stating that I am a target of the January 6th grand jury investigation and I'm given and given me a very short four days to report to the grand jury, which almost always means an arrest and indictment. So now Biden attorney Mary Callan, who I turned down for the United States Supreme Court in retrospect based on his corrupt and unethical actions a very wise decision together with joe biden department of injustice have effectively issued a third indictment and arrest for biden number one political opponent that is what trump sent out on truth social i don't want to read it all but that is just a truth it saddens me to see that this continue every single time this is happening it gets so crazy like seriously at this point in fact the fact of bringing this prosecution against president trump if that does proceed may even allow states like new mexico to disqualify trump from appearing on the ballot because they've already held in their state court system all the way up to the new mexico supreme court as they did against coy griffin that January 6th was indeed an insurrection. So even a two-bit state court can disqualify him on the state ballot. I say this as someone who is running against President Trump for the presidency in this election, in this GOP primary. I do not want to see my opponents eliminated because of the actions of a corrupt federal administrative police state. 